Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Let's get started. So, right now, it is uh, actually Thursday. You guys are seeing this on Saturday, but I am uploading Sunday sessions right now, which is a jam between the PO128 Mega Man and the Korg NTS-1. Uh, still not 100% on uh, the Mega Man sequencer and how it kind of glitches out rhythmically when you're trying to live uh, record stuff, but it's all right. But uh, currently right now trying to upload and the internet uh, out here is just not cooperating with me. This has happened a couple times before in the past few weeks and what I, oh, did it just start? Oh, it just started. Uh, basically what I wind up doing is uh, putting, the, uh, putting the videos, the finished products on a thumb drive, just like that, taking it home and uploading it from home, which is no big deal. Uh, I try to work a couple days uh, ahead of time on videos so uh, you know I can do that if need be, but uh, that's not why I'm filming this video. No, today's video is going to be celebrating the fact that tomorrow's Sunday sessions will uh, have hopefully been the very last video filmed with this tripod sitting on the desk with these lights in this terrible situation uh, on the desk like this. And that's due to the fact that I have a new tripod that is on its way here. It will be here today, any minute now, actually. Now, I know this tripod is uh, relatively brand new, about a month old, but I decided to splurge and get a nicer one that has a horizontal arm that I can put the tripod behind the desk, bring the arm out, and do a true overhead shot like this. So we are going to have all of this space cleared off, meaning we are gonna be able to do a lot more with different pieces of gear on the desk at the same time. It's going to greatly expand my opportunities to uh, do different types of video content. So I am very, very excited about that. Uh, can't wait to actually get into using the MPC. You'll also notice that the MPC is sitting on the snare drum of the electric drum kit. Also coming today is a little three-tier bookshelf, uh, just some cheap little plastic thing, but that's going to go right here, and that is going to act as a stand for, like, the cycles there, the MPC. I've got my Model D just uh, chilling on the computer tower down there, as well as, like, the Micro Freak, and basically all of my other gear that I use frequently. It's going to be super easy to just swap stuff out. With all of this stuff off of the desk, I still don't know what I'm going to do for lighting, but I'm going to figure that out. But with all of this stuff off of the desk, I'm going to be able to uh, have one of those little clips like I had on the desk at home with my power connectors for everything there. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a lot easier to film different types of content and uh, or I should say film different types of gear because we're going to have a lot more space and the shots are going to look so much better. This is going to be a huge step up quality wise for the channel. So uh, yeah, I cannot wait until that stuff gets here, which like I said, should be any minute. So uh, I'll check in with you guys once I have acquired the packages. Alrighty, look what just showed up. I believe we have our tripod and our three tier bookshelf. Awesome. Sunday Sessions is now at 4%, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and tear into these, and uh, we'll see uh, see what we can do. Let's build the uh, the bookshelf first. Okay, so here's the, uh, the cheap flimsy board that uh, will make up the shelves. There's three of them. And uh, here are the little plastic, um, what are they called? You guys know the, the supports. I mean, these are, these are bad. <laughs> Here's the little connectors, I think, for them. Or these are the feet. These are the tops. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. This is going to work perfect for in here for just setting some, you know, synthesizers on it. It'll be absolutely perfect. What's funny, though, is I just texted Lady Freebeat and told her because we were originally considering these, uh, or this brand anyway, of shelves when we redid our living room, like back in January. And uh, I am very glad we didn't go with these because this would have been this would have been awful in the living room. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's get these screwed in. Here we go. All right, got it built up. That took all of I don't know two minutes. Should be okay once we've got some stuff on it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and put the shelf there. All right, got it moved into position. Let's uh, fill it up. Okay, much better. So I've got my little cleaning cloth, uh, model cycles, OPZ, Micro Freak. Down here, got the camera. 
Uh, got pocket operators, MPC, and the Model D, and the uh, Volca Keys. So uh, much better, and I don't know if you guys can tell much of a difference, but uh, just having that there, I was able to clean up a lot, and uh, that makes me feel a lot better. This blue bag that I tuck in right there, that's kind of like my bag that goes with me uh, when I go home. Comes with me here, it's got like the Zoom H5, uh, this little vlog camera, and I usually take the uh, OPZ home with me, uh, just in case inspiration strikes and I need to, uh, you know, get something out of my head and onto a uh, device real quick. So, yeah, uh, very happy with how that turned out. I've got the bag for the uh, old tripod, and uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and collapse that and pack it up, and then we'll get to uh, get to this new one here. Exciting. Alrighty, so uh, here is the professional camera tripod that I purchased. Um, this was the cheaper version of, uh, I forgot what the, the higher end one was, like KNF or something like that. I don't know, it was like 130 US dollars. And uh, I chose to go with this one, which was uh, quite a bit cheaper. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me. All I need is something that can sit there and kind of, you know, horizontally move the camera to in front of where I'm filming. So uh, I guess we'll find out. The box is completely beat up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> okay. So one of the reasons I went with this uh, particular tripod was the fact that it comes with a, a ball head mount that seems to be pretty decent. So, uh, so that's cool. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, Let's go ahead and get it set up horizontally. Well, I've got the camera set up uh, on this side of the table how it would be, and uh, unfortunately, I don't think that the uh, tripod is tall enough. That is kind of a bummer. Um, I'm still gonna try and set it up and see uh, what the shot looks like, but uh, I was definitely hoping to have it about like here so we can get all the desk and have all of the desk as usable space. Uh, because right now, right now it's about the view that we had, which uh, isn't great. So as you can see, like this right here, this light is not even in camera or in frame. Um, actually, let's go ahead and grab the MPC for reference since we all know what that looks like on camera. And yeah, it's, it's worse than it was before. So uh, that's a bummer, but we're going to have to send the tripod back and... Start again, try something new. Dang, I'm realizing my error was that when I looked at the overall height of the tripod when I was researching, I looked at this overall height when you're using that post as, um, you know, like an extension of the height. So this would have been tall enough, but I also needed it to go horizontal at this height. Um, and I know, you know, people will suggest like, oh, we'll just prop the tripod up on stuff and whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm really not trying to do that. As you guys can see, the studio is already like, you know, trashy enough and I don't need anything else, you know, helping that aspect of it. So uh, I'm gonna return it and, uh, and try to get something taller or maybe some kind of proper overhead setup. I'm not sure. I'm a little upset, uh, a little bummed because we're gonna have to go back to using this tripod unless I order something like today because uh, I am caught up video-wise through Sunday, so maybe I'll do that. It'll just show up over the weekend, and we'll test it out. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to do it for this one. A little bit of a bummer ending, but that's all right. Uh, sometimes it's fun to see the uh, see the failures as well, and just remember you gotta got to keep on going. So we'll find a tripod that works, and we'll, we'll have good overhead uh, shots. Monday's video might be shot on the old tripod. We'll see. If you did enjoy this one, uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try it that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.